Hello, this is the Silver Watchman, and welcome back to the Bible. And now we're going to be continuing on where we left off last time, which is Daniel chapter 12, verse number 4. Let us begin. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there stood two others, one on this river bank and the other on that river bank. And one said to the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, how long shall the fulfillment of these wonders be? Then I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river. When he held his right hand and his left hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for a time, times and half a time. When the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, and when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, all these things shall be finished. Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, My Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go your way, Daniel. For the words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away, and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. But you go your way till the end. For you shall rest and will arise to your inheritance at the end of days. Hosea! Chapter 1 The word of the Lord came to Hosea, the son of Beri, in the days of Uziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. When the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry, for the land is committed to great, har great harlotry by departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Dibliam, and she conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel. For in a little while I will avenge the bloodshed of Jezreel on the house of Jehu and bring an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. It shall come to pass in that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bore a daughter. Then God said to him, Call her name lo Rahama. Ruhama, for I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. Yet I will have mercy on the house of Judah, will save them by the Lord their God, and I will, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword or battle, by horses 
or horsemen. Now when she weaned Lo Ruhama, she conceived and bore a son. Then God said, Call his name Lo Ami, for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. There it shall be said to them, You are the sons of the living God. Then the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together and appoint for themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land. For great will be the day of Jezreel. Hosea chapter 2. Say to your brethren, my people, and to your sisters, mercy is shown. Bring charges against your mother. Bring charges against... Bring charges. For she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. Let her put away her harlotries from her sight, and her adulteries from between her breasts, lest I strip her naked and expose her. As in the day she was born, and made her like a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst, I will not have mercy on her children, for they are the children of harlotry. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Therefore behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns, and wall her in, so she cannot find her paths. She will chase her lovers, but not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold which they prepared for Baal. Therefore, I will return and take away my grain in its time, and my new wine in its season, and will take back my wool and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall deliver her from my hand. I will also cause her all her mirth to cease her feast days her new moons her sabbaths all her appointed feasts and I will destroy her vines and her fig trees of which she has said these are my wages that my lovers have given me so I will make them a forest and the beasts of the field shall eat them I will punish her the days of the balls to which she burned incense. She decked herself with her earrings and jewelry. She went, and she went after her lovers, but me she forgot, says the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, will bring her into the wilderness, and speak comfort to her. I will give her her vineyards from there, and the valley of Achor as a door of hope. She shall sing there, as in the days of her youth, as in the days of when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband, and no longer call me my master. For I will take from her mouth the names of the balls, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them, 
with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword of battle I will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice, in loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with grain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. Then I will show, sow her for myself in the earth. And I will have mercy on her, who had not obtained mercy. And I will say to those who are not my people, You are my people, and they shall say, You are my God. Hosea chapter 3 Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover, and is committing adultery. And just like the love of the Lord of the, for the children of Israel, who took, who looked to other gods and loved the raisin cakes of the pagans, so I bought her for myself for fifteen shekels of silver, and one, and one half homers of barley, and said to her, "You shall stay with me many days." You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man. So too will I be toward you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Hosea chapter 4 Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. For the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying, killing and stealing, and committing adultery, they break all restraint with bloodshed upon bloodshed. Therefore, the land will mourn, and everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beasts of the field and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea will be taken away. Now let no man contend or rebuke another. For your people are like those who contend with the priests Therefore you shall stumble in the day. The prophet shall also, also shall stumble with you in the night. And I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I also will reject you from being priests for me, because you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. The more they increase, the more they sinned against me, I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people. They set their heart in their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests. So I will punish them for their ways. And reward them for their deeds. For they shall eat, but not have enough. They shall commit har harlotry, but not increase, because they have ceased obeying the Lord. Harlotry, wine, and new wine enslave the heart. My people ask for counsel from their wooden idols, and their staff informs them, for the spirit of harlotry has caused them to stray. And they have played the harlot against their God, they offer sacrifices on the mountaintops and burn incense on the hills 
under oaks, poplars, and terebinths. Because their shade is good, therefore your daughters commit harlotry, and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit harlotry, nor your brides when they commit adultery. For the men themselves go apart with harlots and offer sacrifices with a ritual harlot. Therefore, people who do not understand will be trampled. Though you, Israel, play the harlot, let not Judah offend. Do not come up to Gigal, nor go up to Beth Avon, nor swear an oath, saying, As the Lord lives. For Israel is stubborn, like a stubborn calf. Now the Lord will let them forage, like a lamb in the in open country. Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone. Their drink is rebellion, they commit harlotry continually. Their rulers dearly love dishonor. The wind has wrapped her up in its wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Hosea chapter 5 Hear this, O priest, take heed, O house of Israel, give ear, O house of the king, for yours is the judgment, because you have been a snare to Mizpah, and a net spread on Tabor. The revolters are deeply involved in slaughter, though I rebuke them all, I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, O Ephraim, you commit harlotry. Israel is defiled. They do not direct their deeds toward turning to their God. For the spirit of harlotry is in their midst. And they do not know the Lord. The pride of Israel testifies to his face. Therefore, Israel And Ephraim stumble in their iniquity. Judah also stumbles with them, with their flocks and herds. They shall go to seek the Lord, but they will not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously with the Lord. But they have begotten pagan children. Now a new moon shall devour them in their heritage. Blow the ram's horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at Beth of Aven, look at you, O Benjamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in a day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel I make known what is sure. The princes of Judah are like those who remove a landmark. I will pour out my wrath on them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he winningly walked by human precept. Therefore I will be to Ephraim like a moth and to the house of Judah like rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to King Jareb, yet he cannot cure you, nor heal you of your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear them and go away. I will take them away, and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Then they will seek my face. In their affection, they will earnestly seek me. Affliction.
In their affliction, they will earnestly seek me. Hosea, chapter 6. Come, let us return to the Lord, for he, was, for he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he, he will receive us. On the third day, he will raise us up. That we may live in his sight, let us know. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain of the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do to you? O Judah, what shall I do to you? For your faithfulness is like a morning cloud, like the early dew it goes away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And your judgments are like the are like light that goes forth. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And the knowledge of God is more than burnt offerings. But like men they transgress the covenant. There they dealt treacherously with me. Gilead is a city of evildoers and defiled with blood, as bands of robbers lie in wait for a man. So the company of priests murder on the way to Shechem. Surely they commit lewdness. I have seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel. There is harlotry. There is the harlotry of Ephraim. Israel is defiled. Also, O Judah, a harvest is appointed for you. When I return the captives of my people. Hosea chapter 7. When I would have healed Israel, when the iniquity of Ephraim was uncovered, and the wickedness of Samaria, for they have committed fraud, a thief comes in, a band of robbers takes spoils outside. They do not consider in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own deeds have surrounded them. They are before my face. They make a king glad with their wickedness, and princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, like an oven heated by a baker. He ceases stirring the fire after kneading the dough. After it is leavened, in the day of our king, Princes have made him sick, inflamed with wine. He stretched out his hand with scoffers. They prepared their heart like an oven. While they lie in wait, their baker sleeps at night. In the morning it burns like a flaming fire. They are all hot like an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings have fallen, none among them calls upon me. Ephraim has mixed himself among the peoples. Ephraim is a cake unturned. Cakes have devoured his strength, but he does not know it. Aliens have devoured his strength, but he does not know it. Yes, gray hairs are here and there on him, yet he does not know it. And the pride of Israel testifies to his face, but they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim is also like a silly dove, without sense. They call to Egypt, they go to Assyria, wherever they go. I will spread my net on them. I will bring them down like the birds of the air, I will chastise them according to what their con con congregation has heard. Woe to them, for they have fled from me. Destruction to them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I redeem them, yet they have spoken lies against me. They did not cry out to me with their heart when they wailed upon their beds. They assemble together 
for grain and new wine. They rebel against me, though I disciplined and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They return, but not to the Most High. They are like a treacherous bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword, for the cursings of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Hosea, chapter 8. Set the trumpet to your mouth. He shall come like an eagle against the house of the Lord, because, it, because they have transgressed my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel will cry to me, My God, we know you. Israel has rejected the good. The enemy will pursue him. They set up kings, but not by me. They made princes, but I did not acknowledge them. From their silver and gold they made idols for themselves, that they might be cut off. Your calf is rejected, of O Samaria. My anger is aroused against them. How long till they attain to innocence? For from Israel is even this. A workman made it, and it is not God. But the calf of Samaria shall be broken into pieces, broken to pieces. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. They s the stalk has no bud. It shall never produce a meal if it should produce. Aliens would swallow it up. Israel was swallowed up. Now they are among the Gentiles, like a vessel in which is no pleasure. For they have gone up to Assyria, like a wild donkey alone by itself. Ephraim has hired lovers. Yes, though they have hired among the nations, now I will gather them, because they shall sorrow a little because of the burden of the king of princes, because Ephraim has made many altars for sin. They have become for him altars for sinning. I have written for him the greatest things of my law. They are considered a strange thing, for the sacrifices of my offerings, they sacrifice flesh and eat it. But the Lord does not accept them. Now he he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins for they shall return to Egypt for Israel has forgotten his maker and has built temples Judah also has multiplied fortified cities but I will send fire upon his cities it shall devour his palaces Hosea chapter 9 do not rejoice, O Israel, with joy like other peoples, for you have played the harlot against your God. You have made love for hire on every threshing floor. Threshing floor and the winepress shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land. But Ephraim shall return to Egypt and shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord, nor shall their sacrifices be please, pleasing to him. It shall be like bread of mourners to them. All who eat it shall be defiled, for their bread shall be for their own life. It shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will you do in the appointed day, and in the day of the feast of the Lord, for indeed they are gone because of the destruction. Egypt shall gather them up, Memphis shall bury them, Nettles shall possess their valuables of silver, Thorns shall be their shall be in their tents. The days of punishment have come. The days of recompense have come. Israel knows. The prophet is is a fool, the spiritual man is insane, because of the greatness of your iniquity and great enmity.
the watchman of Ephraim is with my God, but the prophet is a fouler snare in all his ways. Enmity in the house of his God, they are deeply corrupted, as in the days of Gabeah. He will remember their iniquity, he will punish their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first fruits on a fig tree, but in its first season they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves to that shame. They became an abomination like the thing they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird, no birth no pregnancy and no conception. Though they bring up their children, yet I will bereave them to the last man. Yes, woe to them when I depart from them. Just as I saw Ephraim like Tyre planted in a pleasant place, so Ephraim will bring out his children to the murderer. Give them, O Lord. What will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their wickedness is in giggle. For there I hated them, because of the evil of their deeds. I will drive them from my house. I will love them no more. All their princes are rebellious. Ephraim is stricken. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. Yes, were they to bear children, I would kill the darlings of their womb. My God will cast them away, because they did not obey him. They shall be wanderers among the nations. Hosea, chapter 10. Israel empties his wine, his vine. He brings forth fruit for himself, according to the multitude of his fruit. He has increased the altars, according to the bounty of his land. They have embellished his sacred pillars, their heart is divided. Now they are held guilty. He will break down their altars. He will ruin their sacred pillars. For now they say, we have no king. Because they did not fear the Lord. As for a king, what would he do for us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely in making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up like a hemlock in the furrows of, a fi of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria fear because of the calf of Beth Aven, who its people mourn for it, and its priests shriek for it because its glory has departed from it. The idol shall be carried to Assyria as a present for King Jerob. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, her king is cut off, like a twig on the water, also the high places of Evan. The sin of Israel shall be destroyed, the thorn and thistle shall grow on their altars. They shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. O Israel, you have sinned from the days of Gebeah. There they stood. The battle in Gebeah against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. When it is my desire, I will chasten them. People shall be gathered against them when I bind them for their two transgressions. Ephraim is, trained, is a trained heifer that loves to thresh grain. But I will harness her fair neck. I will make Ephraim pull plow. Judah shall plow. 
Jacob shall break his clods. Sow for yourselves righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped iniquity. You have eaten the fruit of lies, because you trusted in your own way. And the multitude of your mighty men, therefore tumult shall arise among, among your people, and your fortresses shall be plundered. As Shalman plundered Beth Arbel in the day of battle, a mother dashed in pieces upon her children, thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness. At dawn the king of Israel shall be cut off utterly. Hosea chapter 11 When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. As they called him, as as they called them, so they went from them, sacrificed to the balls, and burned incense to carved images. I taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I drew them with gentle cords, with bands of love, and I was to them as those who take yoke from their neck. I stooped and fed them. You shall not return to the land of Egypt, but a Assyrian, but the Assyrian shall be his king, because they refuse to repent. And the sword shall slash in his cities, devour his districts, and consume them. Because of their own counsels, my people were bent on backsliding from me. Though they call to the Most High, none at all exalt him. How can you give up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I set you like Zeboim? My heart churns within me. My sympathy is stirred. I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God, and not man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come with terror. They shall walk after the Lord, who will roar like a lion. When he roars, then the sun shall come trembling from the west. They shall come trembling like a bird from Egypt, like a dove from the land of Assyria. And I will let them dwell in their houses, says the Lord. Ephraim has encircled me with lies, and the house of Israel with deceit, but Judah still walks with God, even with the Holy One who is faithful. Hosea chapter 12 Ephraim feeds on the wind and pursues the east wind. He daily increases lies and desolation. Also they make a covenant with the Assyrians, and oil is carried to Egypt. The Lord also brings a charge against Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways, according to his deeds. He will recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the womb, and in his strength he struggled with God. Yes, he struggled with the angel and prevailed. He wept and sought favor from him. He found him in Bethel, and there he spoke to us, that is, the Lord God of hosts, the Lord, his, te his memorial name. So you, by the help of your God, return. Observe mercy and justice, and wait on your God for continually. The cunning Canaanite, a cunning Canaanite, deceitful scales are in his hand. He loves to oppress, and Ephraim said, Surely I have become rich. I have found wealth for myself in all my labors. They shall find in me no iniquity that is sin. But I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt. 
I will again make you dwell in tents as in the days of the appointed feasts. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions. I have given symbols through the witnesses, through the witness of the prophets. Through Gilead, though Gilead has idols, surely they are vanity. Though they sacrifice bulls and giggle, indeed their altars shall be heaps in the furrows of the field. Jacob fled to the country of Assyria. Israel served for a sponge. And for a wife he tended sheep. By a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet he was preserved. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly. Therefore his Lord will leave the guilt of his bloodshed upon him and return his reproach upon him. Hosea chapter 13 when Ephraim spoke, trembling, he exalted himself in Israel. Though when he offended through Baal worship, he died. Now they have sinned, now they sin more and more, and have made for themselves molded images, idols of silver, according to their skill. All of it is the work of craftsmen. They say of them, Let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore, they shall be like the morning cloud, and like the early dew that passes away, like chaff blown off from a threshing floor, and like smoke from a chimney. Yes, I am the Lord your God, ever since the land of Egypt, and you shall know no God but me. For there is no Savior besides me. I knew you in the wilderness, in the land of great drought, of the in the land of great drought, when they had pasture, they were filled. They were filled, and their heart was exalted. Therefore they forgot me. So I will be to them like a lion, like a leopard by the road I will lurk. I will meet them like a bear, deprived of her cubs. I will tear open their ribcage, and there I will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, you are destroyed, but your help is from me. I will be your king, where there is any other. Where is any other? That he may save you on all your cities. And your judges, whom you said, give me a king and princes. I gave you a king of my anger, in my anger and took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is stored up. The sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him. He is an unwise son, for he should not stay long, for children are born. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be your plagues, O grave, I will be your destruction. Pity is hidden from my eyes, though he is fruitful among his brethren. An east wind shall come, the wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness. Then the spring shall become dry, and his fountain shall be dried up. He shall plunder the treasury of every desirable prize. Samaria is held guilty, for she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their infants shall be dashed in, in pieces, and their women with child ripped open. Hosea chapter 14 Israel, return to the Lord your God. For you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. 
Assyria sh shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods, for in you the fatherless find mercy. I will hear their I will heal their their black their backsliding, for I will I will love them freely, for my anger is turned away from him. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall grow like the lily and lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. His beauty shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like Lebanon. Those who dwell under its shadow shall return. They shall be received, revived like grain and grow like a vine. Their scent shall be like a like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What am I to do any more with idols? I have heard and observed him. I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit is found in me. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Joel, chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Hear this, you elders, and give ear, all of you inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this happened in your days? or even in the days of your fathers. Tell your children about it, that your children tell their children, and their children another generation. What is the chewing locust left? What the chewing locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the crawling locust has eaten. What the crawling locust left, the consuming locust has eaten. Awake, you drunkards, and weep, and wail, all you drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it has been cut off from your mouth. For a, nation, for a nation has come up against my land, strong and without number. His teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he has the fangs of a fierce lion. He has laid waste my vine, and ruined my fig tree. He has stripped it bare, and thrown it away. His branches are made white. Lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth. For the husband of her youth, the grain offering and a drink offering have been cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn, who minister to the Lord. The field is wasted, the land mourns. For the grain is ruined, and the new, the new wine is dried up, the oil fails. Be ashamed, you farmers. Wail, you vine dressers. For the wheat and the barley because the harvest of the field has perished. The vine has dried up. The fig tree has withered. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, with the trees of the field. All the trees of the field are withered. Surely joy has withered away from the sons of men. Gird yourselves in lament, you priests. Wail, you who minister before the altar. Come, lie all the night in sackcloth, you who minister to my God. For the grain offering and the drink offering are withheld from the house of your God. Consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry out to the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. 
It shall come as destruction from the Almighty. Is it not the food? Is not the food cut off before your, our eyes? Joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed shrivels under the clods. Storehouses are in shambles. Barns are broken down. For the grain has withered. How the animals groan. The herds of the cattle are restless. Because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep suffer punishment. O Lord, to you I cry out. For the fire has devoured the open pastures. And the flame has burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field also cry out to you. For the water brooks are dried up. The fire has devoured the open pastures. Joel chapter 2 Blow the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, that all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at, at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like the morning clouds spread over the mountains, a people come, great and strong, like of whom has like of whom has never been, nor will there ever be any such after them. Even for many success, su su successive generations, a fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape them. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses, and like the swift steeds, so they will run. With a noise like chariots, over mountain tops they leap, like a noise of flaming of a flaming fire that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array. Before them the people writhe in pain. All the fa all faces are drained of colour. They run like mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. Everyone marches in formation. They do not break rank, and they do not break ranks. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they lunge between weapons, they are not cut down. They run to and fro in the city. They run on the wall. They climb into houses. They enter at the windows like a thief. The earth quakes before them. The heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness. The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for, his, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, who can endure it? Now, therefore, says the Lord, Turn to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping, and with mourning. So rend your heart, and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is a gracious and for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. He relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will turn and relent? And leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering. For the Lord your God, blow the trumpet in Zion, and consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babes. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber, and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priests who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord. And do not give your heritage to reproach, that the nation should rule over them. Why should, should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord will be zealous for his land, and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you a grain, and new wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among nations, but I will remove far from you the northern army, 
and I will, and will drive them away into a barren and desolate land with his face toward the eastern sea and his back toward the western sea. His stench will come up and his foul order will rise because he has done monstrous things. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, <clears throat> you beasts of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, and the tree bar bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vin vine yield their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month the threshing floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army, which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of you of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God. There is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your, your younger men shall see visions. Also on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show you I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls, Joel chapter 3 For behold, in those days, at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all the nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. They have also divided up my land and cast lots for my people. I have given a boy as payment for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they may drink. Indeed, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coasts of Philistia? Will you retaliate against me? If you retaliate against me swiftly and speedily, I will return your retaliation upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my prized possessions, also the people of Judah, the people of Jerusalem, you have sold to the Greeks, that you may remove them far from their borders. Behold, I will raise them out of the place to which you have sold them, and will return your retaliation upon your head. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the people of Judah, and they will sell them into, sell them to the Sabaeans, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations, prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble and come, all you nations, and gather together all around, because you're mighty ones, to go down there, O Lord. 
that the nations be wakened. I come up to a valley, to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Put in the sickle, for our harvest is for the harvest is ripe. Come, go down, for the wine press is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near, in the valley of decision. The sun and moon will grow dark, and the stars will diminish their brightness. The Lord will also roar from Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and the and earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So you shall know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no alien shall ever pass through her again. And it shall come and it will come to pass that in that day that the mountains shall drip with new wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah shall be flooded with water. A fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord, and water the valley of Acacias. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom a de desolate wilderness, because of violence against the people of Judah, for they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall abide forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will acquit them of the guilt of bloodshed, whom I have not acquitted, for the Lord dwells in Zion. Amos Chapter 1 The words of, of Amos, who was among the sheep breeders of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, in the days of Jeroboam, the, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake, and he said, The Lord roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds mourn, and the top of Carmel withers. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Damascus, and for four I will not turn away its punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with implements of iron, but I will set a fire into the house of Hazael, which shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad. I will also break the gate bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants of the valleys of Avon, and the one who beholds the scepter from Beth Eden, the people of Syria, shall go captive to Kir says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Gaza, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they took captive the whole captivity, to deliver them to Edom. But I will set a fire upon the wall of Gaza, which shall devour its palaces. I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod, and the one who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. <sighs> well, that appears to be all the time I have for this episode of the Bible. Good gosh, I'm going to fast forward. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. Glory be to God in the highest. This is truly an honor that I get to do this. It's truly an honor. And it's a blessing to be able to do this honor. Though my pride may get in the way from time to time, I know God will keep me in check. He always does. So glory be to God for that. But God is awesome. God is great. And my gosh, we made a lot of progress. We just went through like three books. Three books. Actually, well, yeah, yeah, pretty much three books. Oh, my gosh. 
Thank you all for watching. Blessings be upon you all. Glory be to God. And my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry that I did, did this, this video came out a little bit later than the other ones, but still, glory be to God that it's able to get done. This is the Silver Watchman. Signing out.